Hi, this is Kishore and today we are going to discuss about inheritance concept. Now, first of all, what is called inheritance? Actually, inheritance one of the powerful feature of OOPS concept. Inheritance is the one of the most powerful concept of inheritance concept ok that is introduced in OOPS with the C++. Now, what is called inheritance? Inheritance is the process of inheritance is the process of deriving a new class deriving a new class or classes from existing world classes or class ok. It is the process of deriving new class or classes from existing world class or classes. In other words, it is also called it is the process of passing the properties of passing the properties of one class to another. In this situation, the world class is referred as in this situation the world class is referred as base class which is also called super class base class or super class and uh, the newly created class is called derived or subclass derived or subclass next why inheritance here the point is why inheritance simple logic is there I am going to explain one small example for inheritance for example my grandfather ok already is having a building with two stairs ok actually my grandfather is having a building with the two stairs after my grandfather my father is the owner of this building that means now my father is having two stair building but actually the owner of this building is grandfather but now my father is the owner of this building why because because of he is the derived because of he is the derived when it is derived means what properties of old class here old class means grandfather or passed to new class new class means what father that is why all the grandfather properties belongs to father also next for example now it is me ok here what happened my grandfather constructed a building with only two stairs later my father is adding one more stair to this building now my father is the owner of three stair building ok next later it is me father and son now after the father son is the owner of this three stair building ok fine now what happened the son is going to add another two stairs to this building now it is a five stair building watch it here the first two stairs belongs to grandfather next third stair actually belongs to father and now the total five stairs belongs to the son that means here what happened the two stairs are reused reused in father and once again they are used in son that means inheritance provides the concept of reusability it is called reusability not only that one actually here we are having two stairs only but here three stairs here five stairs which is called extensibility that is why inheritance provides the concept of reusability and extensibility ok according to this example what we have to understand for example there is a class called x which is having 100 lines code now i need the same 100 lines in another class in another class now i have to create once again the same class with 100 lines what happens the program is getting lengthy the program is getting lengthy it takes more time that is why here what i am going to do means uh, i am going to derive the y class from x class ok to prevent this problem i am going to create the y class from x class now what happens all the 100 properties are passed to y class now y also owner of 100 lines and not only that one now in class y we can add another 50 lines also ok now the y is the owner of 150 lines now I need all these 150 lines in z class then same procedure from y 
I am going to create class J. Now, it is having 150 lines and I can add another 50 lines. That means, now the class Z is the owner of 200 lines. Here, class X is used in both class Y and class Z which is called reusability. Not only that one, they are used and they are extended in Y and Z which is called extensibility. That is why inheritance provides the features of reusability and extensibility. That is why we need the inheritance concept and here it is called base class. Class X is called base class otherwise which is also called super class. Now, class Y is called derived or subclass, derived or subclass. Now, class Z is what? Derived of Z, Y class. That is why Y is the base and Z is the derived. In this situation, class Y is called intermediate base class. In this situation, it is called intermediate base class. We know that actually it is the main base class. From this, it is derived. That is why it is derived. That means, once upon a time, I am also child, but now I am having child. That is why what I am parent. That is why here watch it. To my father, to my father, I am the son. Okay, there is no doubt at all. That is why father is what? Base. And what I am? Derived. But now, but now I have one son. That means what? He is derived to me. That means what I am? Base. That is why now I am what? Intermediate class. That is why base class derived. Once upon a time, it is derived. But right now it is having a derived class. That is why it is called intermediate base class and it is the derived class. Okay? That is why what happened? Instead of writing the 100 lines, we can reuse the same concept in class Y and class Z. That is why our time is saved and okay, program length is reduced, which will increase the performance of a program. That is why we need the inheritance concept. Next, how to inheritance? Okay, how to inheritance? What is the syntax for a inheritance? Okay, I am giving the inheritance syntax series. First uh, class, it is the first we have to write derived. Okay, it is the derived class and colon, which is called inheritance operator. And next, uh, public or private or protected later base class and same later members now class close that is all it is the syntax for the inheritance first class derived class means it is the class we are going to derive means it is the new class name and colon is called inheritance operator and it says this class is derived from this base class this class is derived from this base class. Next, after colon, public or private or protected. What it is called means, it is called visibility mode. It is called visibility mode. Okay. Next, based on the visibility mode, this class properties behavior is dependent. Means, uh, actually this class is derived from this base class. No? This base class uh, members, this base class members availability or visibility is dependent on visibility mode. Okay. When public is used what happens? When private is used what happens? When protected is used what happens? Okay. In next session, I will cover what is public, what is private, what is protected. Okay. Thank you, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.